Hi, and thank you for tuning in and watching my video. I want to talk with you a little bit about connections. Connection, connection, connections, and your weight issues. So I'm going to take you back to when you were a child because all of your issues, your health issues that you have as an adult are related, are created in your early childhood. And yep, that's just what it is. And you cannot change that because when you are a little child, you know, you have no say in the matter whatsoever. Besides, you have no logic. You only, you are emotions, your energy emotions. You have no logic. It's yet to be formed. It takes about seven, eight years before your logic starts to form. And until then, you are just in the alpha frequency and you're just in an imaginative world. You're just dreaming all day long and logic is very slowly formed. So whatever takes place in your childhood and, you know, it's not your fault what took place in your childhood and it's not your fault that you turned out the way you are right now. But here's the thing, you can change it. It's your responsibility to stop pointing the blame filter and blame finger at anybody. Uh, because if you don't like your life, there are so many therapists, moi, me, who can help you correct the wrong and Put you on the right track just cut you off from the emotions that are still you know creating misery in your life because there are still a lot of emotions from your childhood that have never been addressed that have never been dealt with and that are still you know basically uh, wrecking havoc in your year in your life right now and one of the things is you are overeating and holding on to the fat. You, you, you don't want to let it go. And it's all based back to your early childhood. So now one is, what, what is one of the aspects that took place in your early childhood that you were missing? I mean, as a child, you are, you have just a very limited agenda. Basically you want to survive. And in order to survive, you want to feel connected. You want to feel connected to your mother and your father, if that's possible, or to either one. Connection makes us who we are because through connection, you learn the facts of life, really. But you learn also, you feel, and it's not written down or said, you feel through that connection that you're loved, that you are, that you are accepted, that you are appreciated, that you are valued, that you are not rejected because your parents, your surroundings do that with you, connect with you. You get the feeling that you are enough because they are supposed to know it, right? They went before you, they are supposed to know it. So when they accept you, when they love you, when they do all sorts of wonderful things with you, playing, taking you places, teaching you stuff, gardening, whatever, whatever you do with the child, you feel you can rely on them. You are part of them and it makes you feel whole. If there is no connection, there is a gap. There is a void, a huge, painful void. And no matter what you are attempting to do as a child and you don't understand what's taking place, you blame yourself for what is not working. For instance, when your parents cannot live together anymore, when they decide to have a divorce, more often than not, the little child blames itself for that divorce. 
unless the parents specifically address it and explain to the child what it is, the child blames itself. For instance, as a child, you're learning and you did something wrong. You spilled milk or you broke a cup or whatever else. And then a week later or a couple of days later, your parents, your father leaves or your mother leaves not to come back. And you get the picture, but you as a child, not having the logic, relate that back to that incident. My parents, my father doesn't love me anymore because I broke a cup. I think that's the reason why he's left and not coming back. Or my, my mother left because um, I did not do the dishes or I did not clean up after myself. You have no clue what's going on in the mind of a, of a three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. You have no clue. But there's a lot going on. And beliefs are created. So if there is no connection between the parents, the caretakers, and the child, there is this void, this gap. And the child has a hard time with it. And as life progresses, the child wants to compensate within itself for that gap, wants to fill up the void within itself. And what is the easiest way? What did your parents do and you don't remember anymore? When something bad happened, when, when mommy left or when daddy left or, or they stayed together and, and, and you had an accident or whatever, whatever. Remember you got an ice cream or a cookie? Let mommy put the cookie on the, on the, on the boo-boo, on the, on the pain on the knee, right? You got the band-aid and mommy or daddy, you know, put a cookie in it cookie on it, right? You know, it made you feel good. That was just pure distraction. To take your attention away, to take your pain away from your knee or whatever you bruised or whatever pain there was going on to distract you. Just pure distractions. Ha! That's where you got hooked into a new belief. And it's usually sweet. I mean, your parents would not give you um, a carrot or a piece of celery or a bowl of salad um, to make the pain go away, right? Because what you always want, you want to go back to that very first substance that gave you life. That mother milk that was sweet in your mouth, that was fatty that was creamy, that was it. That was nurturing you, nourishing you, feeding you, helping you grow. So anything related to that, and it could be pudding, and it could be ice cream, even macaroni and cheese has that mushy substance. That's what you as a child put in that gap, the emotional gap, and you're still doing it. You are still doing it as an adult. You still cannot really control yourself. You still overeat on the things that you know are not really good for you, but you have a hard time resisting it, especially when you wake up in the middle of the night, like two o'clock, and you don't feel 100%. You get out of bed, you go to the Oreos or the ice cream and you just stuff your face with it and you don't know why. You had thoughts going on, you didn't feel good, it triggered your childhood beliefs of not being enough, having been rejected, what I want is not available to me. And you're just f f trying to fill that gap, but it never works. It never ever works because what you're trying to fill is an emotional connection, a lack of that emotional connection that is not there. And that's what you want to overcome. That's what you want to accept, work through with a therapist like me. I help you get through that. And then you ease it out and then it's gone. Nobody's childhood is perfect. Trust me. 
we all come from this functional family and you look at the super rich and you really think they have it all oh god help me check them out they are so miserable you have no clue you have no clue just because they have a truckload of money just because they are billionaires they're miserable uh oh, the latest example is mr bill gates going through divorce um, check out the other ones. It's 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 absolutely amazing. And the oligarchs, the ten or seven richest families in the world, they don't marry for love. Are you kidding me? It's all strategic um, alliances. That's all it is. Nothing more. And the women, specifically the women, have no say in any any matter at all. They're just incubators. Excuse me. This sounds kind of rough. But they are, and it used to be in the old days when the son of a big landlord in the castle needed to reproduce himself. They looked for a daughter in another whatever area, even a different country, and she was the heir to land or whatever. That's where the match was made. Was made. Nothing has changed. It's still the same. We may look at it a little bit different, but it's all the same. So it's connection, connection, connection to who you actually are. Because when you are really connected to your parents, when they accept you as whole, you get to validate yourself. So I can help you validate yourself as an adult. So if you have questions, you know where to find me, leave me a comment, direct message me, I'm here. We can talk for 15 minutes. I would love to help you with any kind of issue that you have because everything, smoking, drinking, binge eating, more eating, even less eating or eating and throwing it up, bulimia, anorexia, it's all a result of your childhood issues. And I can help you with that if you want me to connect with me. So everything I have learned is from my fabulous mentors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, press the like button, subscribe to me. If you haven't done that already, pass it on to anyone you think might benefit from my videos. And if you don't like it, that's okay as well. I appreciate you. We'll talk again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.